Mary Plaster is a mixed media artist. She's an activist and an arts facilitator, and she's the founding director of the Duluth All Souls Night. Thank you very much for inviting us into your space. Oh, thanks for coming. What is the All Souls Festival? Well, it started as a closing reception for the Duluth Art Institute. They had me come and do a co-curated show of giant puppets back in 2008. And we came to the end of the show and we were trying to figure out the closing reception and the date was November 1st. I said, oh my gosh, that's the Day of the Dead. I spent some time in Mexico and I really enjoyed that holiday. It's kind of holiday where everyone gets involved with cooking and making art and dressing up and making an altar to their dear departed. It just, um, we thought it would be great to have the altars inside and take the puppets that had been on display and march them around the library and then end it with some good fire spinning. Is it joyous? Is it scary? What is it? Well, it's both. Um, there's always a lot of pain with losing a beloved person, but the tradition in Mexico is a celebration of life. So you'll see that the skeletons are usually grinning and dancing and doing a lot of the things that they would have done on Earth. How has it grown already? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's changed from your first year. Yeah, I think the first year we had probably less than 100 people, maybe 75 people. And last year, people were telling me they thought at least 400 were there. I wasn't able to sit and count, but um, it was a, a little bit snug, even. It, it's an incredible undertaking for an individual to keep this going. Why? What, what feeds you in all of this process? Well, I've been interested in masks and puppets almost as long as I can remember. I think I was in high school when I went to my first parade in Minneapolis with the May Day in the Heart of the Beast Puppet and Mask Theater. And I was just really inspired by that and then started studying masks and puppets around the world. So. What fun to work on. So when you look at masks, are they humorous? Are they scary? Are they social commentary? How do you, how do you see masks being used? I look at the history of masks and it goes back to, from the history of you know what makes us human, which to me, to be human is to create. But people were altering their appearances and doing these kind of rituals maybe for the hunt or um, just to celebrate the spring coming back, the sun coming back, you know, the good things of life. So that's really embedded in all our cultures and that's what's so fascinating is to look at a culture and then look at, at their masks is sort of like a, a self-portrait of the culture somehow. So yeah, I got kind of into that in my early 20s. It made me <laughs> graduate with art and theater degrees, which people laugh, you know. <laughs> but I've managed to get work. It's not really, you know, lucrative work, but it's always really interesting work. Tell me about what it is to design something that people are going to wear. Do you have to think about some things differently or how does that work? Well, it's um, really nice to work with paper mache because it's really light. Um, you can copy any shape that you're looking for, but you don't get the weight of something that's maybe carved out of wood or something like that. So I think one of my most challenging projects was working with the ballet here in town. And um, th they would have to be able to pirouette and spin and not have the mask fall off. So that was a big learning process. You have a series of um, ancestor large ancestor masks with um, Gandhi and Martin Luther King and some really iconic people in it or images in it. Which one is Mary? Oh, well, my favorite, I don't know if it's Mary. I would love to be um, Hildegard of Bingen. Um, I had this wonderful opportunity to travel in Germany and study about her life and to discover that, you know, probably half of my roots are from Germany and I traveled through some villages that were carving masks out of wood, and I was like, yes, these are my people. <laughs> so um, Hildegard's a special favorite of mine. What impact do you think it has, the All Souls Festival, and just introducing masks and, and giving people the opportunity to explore art in that way? Well, it does teach cooperation because if you're trying to do a giant puppet and one person is marching left and the other one's marching right, you know, the puppet's going to go wonky. <laughs> so um, you have to learn to, to move together. Um, well, the other thing that I hope happens is that maybe there are some kids that were inspired the way I was inspired. 
to learn about these world cultures and make their own. Thank you for your work, Mary. Thank you.